Gibbs. Did he grab it? He did! Oh, what a grab by Brett Gardner to rob C.J. Crone of a long ball. Wow. You betcha, Tyler Clifford. Drake delivers as a drive to right field, hit deep, back by the bullpen gate, it goes, and it is gone! Stubbs, the right fielder, jumped and couldn't get it, just to the right of the 380-foot marker, David Ortiz ties Mickey Mantle with his 536 home run, 10-2 Red Sox. Here's the 0-2. Swung on, there goes the deep left. It is high, it is far, it is gone. He's done it again. It's unbelievable. He's done it again. I have run out of superlatives. He is the Sanchino. Gary is <laughs> scary. He hits another home run, and the Yankees have an 8-4 lead. And again, the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it. Hit the left field deep. Way back. Ruin turning around. He will watch a game-winning grand slam for Chris Davis in the bottom of the ninth inning. Do you believe that? Flushing Queens baseball from the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, the second of four between the Milwaukee Brewers and the New York Mets. Mets baseball starts right now. Matt Harvey, a native of Connecticut, will be doing the pitching in this one. HR, what's the word on him? Well, if you look at his whip, he's having a pretty effective season. He's keeping runners off the base path. He's not giving up a lot of runs, and he's giving his team a chance to win. If he does that same formula in this game, they may walk out of here with the W. Ready now, Hernan Perez. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. With that, here's a look at the Brewers' starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Matt, I can't wait to see what Travis Shaw has in store. I really enjoy watching this guy hit, and he's leading the National League in batting average right now. No doubt that he's one of the best hitters in the game today, and I hope to see him show us what he can do in this one. Into the box. Keon Broxton and as you check out his righty lefty splits no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers drilled right back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single a lot of base hits up the middle set your sights up the alleys and try to Got take it back hard. up the middle hard the like he did right here nice eight. job Ryan Braun. In now, Ryan Braun pitches a cold strike. The throw. Yep. Not in time as he steals second. Well, he's certainly doing his best to get his team out to an early lead. Picks up the single and then decides that's not good enough, so he swipes second to get into scoring position. Now we'll see if the guys can pick him up. Working for the punch out and the offering. Nope. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, this is what they didn't do yesterday. Execute with runners in scoring position. So now you got a chance. Here he is already in this ball game. You got a guy sitting there in scoring position. Drive him in, execute, and you jump away from yesterday's loss. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Ryan Braun is the second out of the opening frame. Standing in now. Travis Shaw squared that one up just a little late. The next 3 2. Hot shot on the ground is short. Cabrera's up with it. Throw in time and the side is retired. Milwaukee leaves one. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Matt Garza. The California-born right-hander is on the mound. Harold, any thoughts? 
Well, Matt, last outing, solid outing. Gave him six full innings, but he took the loss. But if you give this club that kind of a quality outing, a lot of times you're going to walk away with a W. If he does that again this game, I think he's got a chance to win. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. HR, what's the key for him here tonight? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Here's the one and one delivery. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Matt, my man, Rusty Valentine. I just like saying the name, Rusty Valentine. Okay, I'm supposed to talk about what he calls. Look, he's a little yeah, accurate on the corners. He's not going to give you much, but he's accurate. But if you go up and down, you might get some calls. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. T.J. Rivera becomes out number two this inning. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Garza gets the sign. Here's the 3 1. Takes a knee high fastball. Two out, nobody on. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Into the box for his first at bat in this one, Scooter Jeanette, as he's been in a pretty good stretch over the last 10 or so ball games. One and two, here it comes. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that stationed, standard baseball. Coming to the plate now, Jesus Aguilar. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And gone up into the second deck. A solo shot here to left. Eighth home run on the season for him. As the Brewers get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Well, that's why you hear people say work down in the zone. This is such a difficult pitch to hit. But if the ball's up a little bit, these great hitters, they touch it, it's going out of the ballpark. Right there is a prime example. Into the box now, Kirk Neuenheis. Popped high in the air. Harvey is there for it. Two gone. Batting eight, Patrick, Jet Bandy. Here's the catcher, Jet Bandy. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. Now the pitch. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. So tough to lay off that pitch he just missed on. That's a sweeping slider. You got two strikes on it. That ball just continues to move, and he laid off it. Cabrera is there for it. 
No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. But the Brewers are on the board first thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 1 0 Milwaukee. Stepping up now, Lucas Duda, as we take a look at the splits between April and May. Set to deliver on two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And Harold, as we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight, they come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Well, Matt, I'm there's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year as the Mets have come back to tie things at one. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing the ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result. Into the box Michael Conforto and a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. All right, here's how the Brewers line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And in the outfield, Ryan Braun. This has been an interesting case. He played shortstop in college. When he first signed, they moved him to third, and then he learned the outfield. He's had to play on both the corners and a little bit of center field. The thing I like about him, he'll catch the ball and throw to the right base. At the plate, Jay Bruce. Currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. Ready with the 0 2. And he missed with it. It's 1 and 2. 0 2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here he comes again, one, two. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. This pitch just misses a bit inside and catches him about mid thigh. That's the meaty part of the leg, so as soon as the initial pain wears off, he should be just fine. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. The 1 1 pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. Runner goes for second. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2 and 2 now. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. He'll try it again from first. On the ground up the middle. Scooped up. On to first, and there were two down. Here's Juan Ligares. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. In the dirt. Throw goes over to third. And he is safe at third as he moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Two outs here with a runner at third. Oh. And it misses three and one now. That's back to back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Matt, I think he thought he's going to get another breaking ball right there. He's a little bit late on that fastball. That's a nice pitch, though, following that breaking pitch to keep him off balance with the heater. Hit out towards second. 
throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. At the plate, Matt Garza, 9-1-2 due up. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Ready to deliver the one and two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Stepping in now, Hernan Perez. Oh, and he misses it. Legs churning. He's headed for second. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. Perez takes the turn at third. He wants it all. And the ball's waiting for him, and he's out at the plate as he pretty much just Seven. ran out of gas That's out the there. Keon Broxton. Riding in once again, Keon Broxton. One for one after a single this first time up. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning gone in order of the Brewers after two and a half it remains a 1 1 ball game now at the plate Matt Harvey as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Popped up. Aguilar is there for it. One out. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. Ready for another chance? Jose Reyes, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here comes the payoff pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Neuenheis will wait on it. And he will put it away to retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. Through three complete, all tied one apiece. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as Ryan Braun steps in to get things started. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. And a slider on the inside for strike one. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. But it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Third baseman. Digging in to try it again. Travis Shaw comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Weak chopper up the line. 
But that one rolls foul. One run, two hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And that misses two and two. Seems like he's thrown everything at him, the kitchen sink, and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And another foul ball. That was the fourth foul ball in this at bat. He is really making him work. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. Throw in time at first for route number two. Go back. Number two. Here's the second, second baseman, baseman, Scooter Jeanette. Scooter He's 0 for 1 Jeanette. thus far. Trying to send him packing for the second time. This now is hit to second. Does he have another 1 2 3 inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. On to the bottom of the fourth, tied 1 1. Stepping in and ready for another shot as Dribble Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Just a touch inside. Perhaps it's 2 and 1. Well, it's 2 and 1 now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Called strike two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Slow grounder to first. Aguilar is up with it, and he'll step on first himself for the out. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. Both guys topping out at 95 miles an hour. Standing in, Lucas Duda. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The left fielder, number 30. Into the box now, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. One run, just one hit. One error in the game for the Mets thus far. To two balls and two strikes now. He executed that one-two curveball pretty well. I think that's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Digging in for his second at bat, Jesus Aguilar. He'll begin things here against Matt Harvey. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Hit hard to the right. Power. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Oh, but look here. The manager's up and out of the dugout, so it appears he might opt to challenge that last safe call at first. Here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when I saw it at full speed, and I'll tell you what, it's still not clear to me from that replay. We'll see if they decide to challenge it after they look at it from a few more angles. And that's a thumbs up from the bench, so they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make Ladies the final and decision. Gentlemen, the Mets have decided to challenge. All right, the so here's play. one final look at it. Now remember, there has to be indisputable video evidence in order to overturn the call. He was called safe and probably could go either way, but I don't think there's enough right here to change the call. And we'll get our answer here as it appears the umpires have made their decision and the headset comes off and the runner Upon is safe at first as originally called so they will lose the ability the to challenge for the remainder of the game. Stepping in Kirk Neuenheis 
comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 1 and 1 here it comes. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. He threw that ball right by him. When you got a guy throwing that hard, you got to really just think about using your hands and just spread out and let your hands fly. They're going to be quicker than your bat is going to get to the ball. Got him to go down swinging there. Kirk Neuenheis becomes the first out of the inning. Here's the catcher, Jet Bandy. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And there's ball two now. Boy, he's got to want that pitch right there. I know he's been getting a few tonight already, but man, he's around the plate. He's consistent, but like any pitcher, you want all the calls. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. The knee buckler and he swings and misses at it. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Brewers strand one, halfway home, all even at one apiece. Here's Jay Bruce now. He was plunked with a pitch in his first trip to the plate. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. A little bit over halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth, as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. and one. Well, he falls behind 3-1 right now, but, man, he is really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. Fastball too high, ball four. Center fielder number 12. Juan Here's Juan Ligares. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. On the stretch and he misses two and one as long as you actually get it inside that two seam fastball running towards the hands is a really good pitch he's set and the two one pitch pitch swung on and missed the balls there and he is out good throw hey not every catcher can make that throw so that was pretty special. Benito Santiago made throwing from his knees famous when he was playing, but it's a really tough one to pull off. That's a long throw without any legs underneath you, so hats off to him on that one. Garza steps into his windup. He'll try to put him away here on two and two. Pulls this one in the air out to left, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. We've played five full, tied at one aside. Digging in once again, Hernan Perez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? And this is going to be extra bases here, leading off the sixth. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Oh, this is a great way to start the inning. Now the go-ahead run is on second. A base hit away from coming across. I know it's only the sixth inning, but you'd love to claim the lead right now and let your bullpen carry the load the rest of the way. In now, Keon Broxton. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, 
there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. This is where a strikeout pitcher has such a big advantage. Runner on second and no outs is definitely a strikeout situation in order to keep that runner from getting to third with less than two outs. When you can do it, it changes the whole strategy of the inning. Even a ground ball to the right side makes this a lot more dangerous situation. Throw gets Braun at first as he grounds out for out number two. Now batting. Third baseman. Ready for batting. another chance. Shaw. Travis Shaw. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. And he'll take first here on the intentional walk. So make it runners at the corners now with two away. The batter. Number two. Here's second the second baseman, baseman Scooter Jeanette. Scooter He's 0 for 2 Jeanette. with a strikeout in this one. Runners at the corners, two men out. A swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Boy, the Brewers haven't done much up to this point. They need to get something going, and they need to get it going right now. A swing and a foul tip, but held on to behind the plate, and they're going to get out of danger here as the strikeout will end the inning. Brewers strand a couple. Score remains deadlocked in one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Harvey comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And a slider on the inside for strike one. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Perez backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Third baseman. Ready for another shot now. Jose Reyes. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Here's a called strike on the curveball. One and two. Well, that's a tough pitch to hit right there. It looks like it's going to hit you in the hip, and then it breaks to the inside half of the plate, and you get the call on you. That's a tough pitch to hit right there. And Garza's pitch count, and even 70 thus far. Ready on one and two. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. T.J. Rivera waits on deck. Swing and a liner, but foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Again, he sends it out of play. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. I'm not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching, kind of keeping him off balance. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Neuenheis moving to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Well, that was two quick outs right there, getting those guys in front of him, but now the two hitter comes to the plate. Right here, you look to either get on base any way you can, hit a gapper, anything, because you want those big boys coming up next. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. With the meat of the order due up next, you could probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two hole hitter. Broxton is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. Still tied one apiece. Digging in to try it again, Jesus Aguilar. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. On uh, that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. 
curveball that time not even close looks like a left hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen and he struck him out and there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Well pitching domination continues just a total of two now, runs right. on the board so both right. of these starters should Third. feel really good Doing about right. their showings. If you love good pitching this has been the game for you. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch bounce to first Duda's up with it and he'll step on first himself for the out. Up next for Milwaukee. Patrick. Jet Bandy. Ready once again. Jet Bandy. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Gone in order of the Brewers. Score remains tied one to one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Ryan Webb will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Andrew Susak. Will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 13, Andrew Susan. Here now is his Drubal Cabrera. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Now Cabrera awaits the 2 2. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Oh, that's a ball he just missed. Breaking ball right in his wheelhouse, Matt. Here's another 2 2. Right side. Jeanette is there. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. This could have been much worse for the first baseman here. He goes up for the throw, leaving his feet, and exposes himself to a potentially devastating collision because the throw was down the first baseline. He's lucky he didn't get taken out right here. Riding in once again, Lucas Duda he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right hander loosen up. From the belt, kicks and deals. Rip down the line. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Well hit and run right there. The runner still and gets the second. The ball doesn't get the outfield, but the hitter gets a base hit. In a sense, it was a successful play, but it's not exactly what they want. Stepping into the box, Michael Conforto. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. So the decision to run that time pays off as now following the strikeout. Two men are in scoring position with just the one out. Standing in. Jay Bruce for his career in this matchup. One for four. And there's ball four now so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk and the force at the plate is in order. Well tough to say if that was their intention or not but it's not the worst thing that can happen. A force at every base now so there are a lot of ways to get out of this. Corey Knable was called upon to pitch really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Travis Darno. Will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. Back up the middle and through into center field. A base hit. One run scored. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself, and his teammates are pumped up as well.
bases are loaded with only one out. Standing in now, Juan Ligares. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. Again, a 1 2. And this is swung on and missed. A huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. Joanna Cespedes will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 52, Joanna and this ball runs away for ball two two and one well right here he's definitely worked himself into a very difficult situation he's got the power hitter at the plate and you got two balls he's sitting there looking for his pitch to hit you know he's zeroing in tough one to lay off called a strike Looking to keep this a one run game the pitch and a little self preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning Mets played a run on a couple of hits eighth inning coming up it's the Mets two and the Brewers one Addison Reed has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth Addison Reed. Now with the plate, Andrew Susak. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now another 1-2. And here's a ball hit in the air. Cabrera into shallow center. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. Hernan Trying to pick Perez. things up where he left off. Hernan Perez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. So coming to the plate, Keon Broxton. He's working on a one for three thus far. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. He's running towards second. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Duda will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. The left fielder number eight, Here's Ryan Braun now. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Bruce has a read on it. And the inning is over. Milwaukee leaves one. They still trail it here 2 to 1. So striding in, Jose Reyes. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Action in that Milwaukee bullpen now as a left hander started to throw out there. Takes a knee high fastball. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Stepping up now, TJ Rivera. He flew out in his last at bat. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Broxton's under it. And that retires the side. Down in order go the Mets. 
They lead it two to one. Back in Queens at City Field as we get set for the top of the ninth inning in this one. Jerry Spamilia comes on now from the pen, from hoping to finish match. this one off here Number in the top of the ninth. Jerry Familia. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Outside, two and one. The two and one on its way. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. And that'll be a base hit. So they couldn't ask for more as the possible tying runs aboard to kick off the ninth. Whoa, that ball was close. Whizzed right by his head. I think he probably heard it go by, guys. That's pretty unsettling for a pitcher. Trust me, I know. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Into the box, Scooter Jeanette. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw is too late, so the sacrifice attempt turns into a base hit. Now at the plate, Jesus Aguilar. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Got it back in time there, and it's 2-1. and one. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. Shows bun here, but this one misses. Ball three. Yeah, now you've got a guy up there trying to give you an out by bunning. So the last thing you want to do is waste pitches and maybe put yourself in a situation where you could walk him. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. You can't Throw ask for two. anything Number more two. than that. The tying first. run moves over to third two. now with only one out, so we'll see how the infield decides to play it here. So digging in now, Kirk Neuenheis. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he, this time now that he has to put the rest of those back. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And the tying run is going to score here in the ninth, and we are right back to where we started. The pitcher I love the late inning at bats when you come up clutch right there. Unable. Big hit to tie this game. Eric Sogard will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Eric Sogard. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Not too often Jerry's familiar finds himself in a tough spot like this, but I wouldn't bet against him. He has the kind of stuff that he can get out of this mess. in the dirt and block behind the plate. So the lead runner holds on but the trailer will take second. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Here's one hit softly down the line in left. Foul. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Slider and it's off his glove and it bounces away. But it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. And a disastrous time to uncork a wild pitch as the go ahead run scores from third. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. On the ground to the right side. Well, there's a one out infield single. You know what? You can start a lot of rallies with one out. He was hustling down the line. If you're pitching, you think, Andrew Lee. That was so unlucky. Digging in, Andrew Susak. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Way outside, nearly to the backstop. 2 and 1. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. 2-1 pitch is a sinker swung on and missed. 2-2. Two and two. Well, that is a good pitch. A sinker down with that kind of movement, it is really hard to hit. No wonder he swung and missed. The runners are at first and third, one away. 
A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Into the box now, Hernan Perez. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, that ball's high as a strike in the zone can go, but umpires don't like to reward pitchers on that one. They want to make you get the ball down, so he called it a ball. Throw it down, you'll get the strike. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Yeah, and I don't understand that approach at all, Matty. He's not really known for having a whole lot of pop in his bat, but he is known for having really good speed, so personally, I'd much rather see him with a controlled swing and try to put the ball in play. Working to keep them in the game here. Left side. Right there is Reyes. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So disaster strikes here in the ninth as a late rally has certainly dampened the mood of these fans. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up. The Brewers lead this one Your three to play. two. Orlando this Arcia is going to go ahead and Brewers. stay in the ball game and play now third now. Third Number three. Neftali Feliz. Orlando, yeah, the man called on to now close this one and earn a save in Number the ninth. 37. Neftali Feliz. Lucas Duda will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. We'll flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. The power. And now a slider in on the hands and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Never fun to see a pitch come up and in, but obviously not being a fastball, he didn't mean anything by it. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And that one right down Main Street. Grounded softly to the right. And he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. So stepping in, Michael, Michael Conforto. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. In now, Jay Bruce. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Whoa, you know a pitcher is really fighting himself when he misses a zone by that much. I'm surprised the catcher could even bring that in. Time called here as with the potential time run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Anderson. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And this is fouled back and out of play. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Yeah, and that's just a punch to the gut of the home fans as they watch their team fall behind in the top of the ninth. Then they can't get it done at the bottom and come away with a loss. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Corey Knebel claims the win out of the pen, his first. Neftali Feliz wraps it up for the save, his tenth.
So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Brewers. Three runs on eight hits. One ball and one strike. Fastball punched on the ground. Utley kicks it. Still plenty of time. Wow! Utley sprawled in the dirt, flipped it back, and accurately to Gonzalez for an out. Oh, what a play. Fly ball, center field. NCRJ on the run. Still going on the way to track at the line.